Hey, what's up guys, it's V the Installer. I'm here because we are gonna show you how to install a frame TV right here. Now I've installed a bunch of these frame TVs, um, but I've never gotten one on camera, so it's one of those TVs that would be really good for customers to see how it's done and the benefits of it, so we're gonna take you through that right now. So first things first is we're gonna unbox it and show you what's inside the box. So I'm gonna take this sucker off. So as you can see, it has uh, some protective material on it. The one connect is one of the most important things. Uh, this can be kind of a problem, but it's also a very nice uh, way to keep the, the brain of the TV separate. So we'll show you how that works in a little bit. It has a stand, if you're even thinking about putting it on a stand, but I highly doubt that. Most people don't put this TV on a stand. And then it has a bunch of materials you're gonna need, um, including the one connect cord, power cord, and some spacers and the remote. So just hold on to this as you're doing your install, you're gonna need all this stuff, batteries, etc. So we'll go ahead and take the TV apart. So here is the ever important no gap wall mount. Um, this is uh, what we're gonna be showing you how to install today. Um, there's a lot of tricks I'm gonna show you about doing this. A lot of people panic when it comes to installing a mount. It's not that difficult and I'll show you the different ways to connect it to studs and or drywall and get this TV up very safely. And then we have the TV. So this is actually a 55 inch. This comes in 65 inch as well. And it has a little area for the mount back here and obviously the screen on the other side. And it's protected quite well. They've gotten pretty good at packaging these TVs so that they don't break. So tools for this job. You're gonna need a screwdriver to put the bracket on the TV. We are gonna need a tape measure to measure the distances from the top to the mount and the mount to the bottom of the TV. We're gonna need um, a stud finder to find the studs in the wall. We're gonna need a drill and drill bits to obviously drill holes in the wall and to mount. And then we're gonna need a level to level the TV. And in, in this instance for the um, no gap mount and this uh, Samsung frame is you're gonna need some sort of fish tape to fish the wires up and down the wall if you wanna conceal the wires. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then lastly, we have toggle bolts here. These toggle bolts are to grab onto the back of the drywall as they show in this picture here. Uh, and this will come in handy because this mount is hard to hit two studs if you're not perfectly centered. So I'm gonna show you, I have never been, I don't know what this wall is gonna give us. So we're just gonna install as, as the wall uh, offers us. And I'm gonna show you what I need in order to make sure that the TV is secure against this wall. And hopefully that will help you guys get yours secure as well. So we'll use these toggle bolts, I'm sure. This no gap mount by Samsung here is the first thing that we have to deal with. In installing your TV, the first important thing is to put the bracket on the back of the TV. So we have a little instruction manual here. It doesn't, it's not extremely helpful. I'm gonna show you how to use just some common math an easy map to put this on. Uh, here's the bracket that goes on the wall. It comes with some screws that are used in, in the wood. They're actually quite hard to use. I'll show you, give you a little experiment to how difficult these screws are to screw in the wall. But uh, your typical drywall screw or bolt will work. I'll show you that as well. Uh, and then, you know, this is up and then the TV hangs in here. And I'm gonna demonstrate that in a little bit. This is what goes on the back of the TV. Uh, it comes with the screws right here. They're very small screws, so uh, you probably think, are the, uh, really these small screws are what's used to put this big TV up, but you'll screw them into the back of the TV. So we'll hold on to this piece here. That's what's gonna go on the TV first. And then there's a little wall mount instruction in some different languages and some, you know, some common information so that you don't screw up. Um, again, I'm gonna go over some of this with you. And then we have some 
some pads. These pads prevent the TV from banging in the wall at the bottom. And then these two uh, like bolts, they have extensions on them. So if you don't want to keep the TV flat against the wall, it can bring the TV out further from the wall, but they're not very commonly used. So hold on to those if needed. So let's go ahead and get to putting the brackets on the TV. So on this, I leave the TV in the box here just to get this done uh, easier. You can lay it flat on a bed if you want or on the floor if you have carpet. But we have to take this plate off and this here, we have to take both of these off in order to fit this in. So this mount actually goes here and then the wall plate fits in this area too. So we're just gonna take these two pieces off. That's where the mount goes and then this one is where the wall plate fits. And you can see these are magnetic little pieces here that it, it fits nice and tight against the wall here. So first things first is putting this bracket on. So uh, there's four holes in this and they line up with these four holes there. So if you put this in here, pretty much you can't, you can't miss. There's the four holes and you line them up with these four screws. So let's go ahead and put those on. So we have uh, this plate in place now. You can see this is what tips the TV forward and back, and it's on there nice and secure. This piece moves a little bit. When we install, we're gonna keep it down like this, and I'll show you. It's a little easier to install when you have it down like that, and then, once, then you can push it flat once you have it installed. So at this point now, we're done with that, and I'm gonna show you the best way to measure uh, this TV and figure out where the plate goes on the wall. So what I do is, I actually just put them out together um, and I just hold, then I measure from the TV. So I'm gonna put them out where it's supposed to go. This bracket needs to go on the wall. We need to know where it goes relative to the TV. Most people just skip and will throw the TV up there or throw the bracket up there and then the TV just is where it is. But we wanna know where this TV and the mount are gonna sit. So the best way to do this is to measure the, the TV's height in general and then know where this top of the mount is. So. This is a 55 inch and it is 28 inches tall, okay? So 28 inches tall from the top of the TV to this bracket is the number we need, all right? So if we lift up, make sure it's up, it is about six and three quarters inches. So it's 28 inches tall and then the mount's gonna be six and three quarters down from the top of that TV. So we'll take those measurements and we'll go ahead and we'll install the bracket on the wall and everything will work out. So in this space here, we have a window on each side. So that makes it easy for us to center this TV. We want to get it dead center. You can see up and down, there's windows everywhere. So this TV will look good if it's centered. So I'm going to use the windows as a guide to measure. So from window to window, it's just under 89 inches, 88 and three quarters. So I'm going to go here and go 44 and three eighths. And just to make sure, I like to do 44 and 3 eighths and I'll flip it and I'll do 44 and 3 eighths on the other side too. And make sure that my two marks work. So those are 44 and 3 eighths, the two marks. Right in the center is our center point. So that's the center and we're gonna find studs based on that point now. And as I said before, we have a 28 inch tall TV. So I'm gonna mark where I want the 28 inch tall TV. 28 to the top, the bottom, I'm gonna put it right here. And at 21 and three quarters is where our mount's gonna be. That is the top of the mount because it's six and three quarters inches down as we measured from it, from the, from the top of the TV to the top of the bracket is six and three quarters down. So that's right there at 21 and a quarter. So those two measurements are all we need to install this TV. So first things first, let's find a stud in this area and then we'll go from there. We got a couple of beeps. So as I said, I think we're pretty lucky in that we have solid wood across this whole wall. And you can use uh, different methods. Uh, there is a stud finding video on my page. I'll link it here. You guys can check that out to find out how to find studs. Pretty good chance that we got studs in this area right here. And as I said, there's a big beam above us. So it's most definitely uh, the structure that's holding up the beam above. So we're gonna be lucky and have that area, but I'm gonna use some other areas to toggle bolt to hold this up. So let's go ahead and put this up. So let's just make a mark. So if you have a stud, you found a stud or two studs or whatever, go ahead and use 
a level and make a mark so that you know where it needs to go. I'm gonna make the center mark too. So on my center mark, we need to have these two lines cross the top of the mount and the center line. So let's get this lined up. So that's the center line and here is the top of the mount. So those two lines are important as I had said before and this, there's a stud basically in this whole area so we're gonna assume the studs here. So now I can put the bracket up and uh, what's important about this bracket is to make sure that we get attachment points on the sides and have a stud in the middle here and attach this bottom piece as well so that the, this is uh, structurally sound. So uh, I'm gonna put it at the top and that line which we said and to make this easier I'm gonna use a level to keep this level as we mark our holes. And again, I like using this versus the template because the template is much harder to exact with this mount. I know once I make exact measurements that it's not gonna be wrong and the template's not gonna be incorrect. This is the actual mount. So let's go ahead and make sure this mount is accurate and the TV will be. So I'm gonna make our mark here for the stud and then down here, that's gonna be our stud. And I'm gonna use toggle bolts on the sides to secure these sides if there's no studs there. And I'll show you how that works. So we got a stud in the middle and we're gonna to toggle bolt the sides in. So the first thing we're gonna to use to install this, we're gonna use these toggle bolts. I don't know if you can see those. These toggle bolts have metal and we're gonna drive a metal screw into these um, and they're very strong. So they go into the drywall, they go into the drywall, they pop open. And then once they pop open, you drive a, a screw or bolt into those. And these can hold 100 pounds each. And I'm gonna demonstrate how these two toggle bolts, how these two toggle bolts can hold the TV by itself. And then we're gonna also drive into the stud as well. So where our marks were for these, top, for these uh, anchors, we're gonna drill with a half inch uh, bit because these take one half inch. So I'm gonna make a one half inch hole in each spot. All right, easy enough. Okay, we're gonna put the toggle bolt in the hole, pull it back out, which flattens it, zip tie it, and once it's flat, break off the excess. And that's easy, right there. So now, in those two spots, we're gonna be affixed tight to the drywall, and I'm gonna show you now when we put the mount up. These are 316 inch uh, toggle bolts, so they're a little bit smaller, so because the heads will fall through, It'll just go through lightly. We're gonna put a little washer on there. So now we have a little washer on the end. And we have to make sure that this piece points down because the mount hangs on there. So we're gonna put these in here and we're gonna screw them into the wall, into our anchor hole in there. There's one. It's easier if you have two people, but our guy is the cameraman today, so I don't have help. So we're gonna go ahead and put the other one in here. And you can dry, put them in almost all the way, 90%, 95, and I'm gonna hand tighten them just once I have them level. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver, and you can see that they have a little bit of flexibility. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put them in, line them up, make sure that it's level, and we're gonna hand tighten them the rest of the way. You can hand tighten them pretty, hand tighten them down pretty good. Okay, so we got these two here. So we have those two toggle bolts in. I will tell you, with those two toggle bolts alone, you can hang this TV. Um, it's, it's very tight to the wall. This entire sheet of drywall would have to rip off the wall in order for this TV to fall. So I'm not going to do that because we have a stud in the middle I'm going to attach to, but I just want to let you know, if you have two or if you had four toggle bolts or even if you had one in the middle, two at the top and two on the bottom, five toggle bolts, there's no way that this TV on this mount would come off the wall because it's pulling down. It's not pulling out from the wall. You're not trying to rip it off the wall. You're simply putting the mount that's going to pull downward on this. So it can hang hundreds of pounds of weight off of it like this and the drywall would remain and it would not fall but we are gonna put, um, we're gonna try to drive uh, right through this middle here, and I'm gonna show you how to use the bolts that they give you, the screws that they give you, and I'm gonna show you if it works because the ones that they give you are not great, and hopefully they fix them, but let's just try it. 
So these little screws or bolts that they give you from Samsung actually have this flat back to them, which is nice. Um, but you can see the Phillips bit on them is very small and very hard to, to drill in. So when you start to drill them in, they start to strip very easily. So even if you drill a good size hole, um, they still typically spin uh, and strip these um, this Phillips bit out. So I like to use drywall screws in this instance with the washer, but we're gonna try to use the bolts that they gave us and see what happens. So I'm gonna drill the pilot hole like they say to in the instructions. So I drilled the pilot hole in the top and the bottom of that stud. And I'm gonna put my Phillips fit back on. And I'm just gonna drill this in as if I was doing this without any knowledge, and I'm just gonna see what happens. So I have a uh, Phillips fit on, I have the screw that they provided, and I'm just gonna drill it into the hole. In that instance, it worked out pretty good. Most of the time that strips, but hey, if it works, it works. Let's see if we can get away with it happening at the bottom. If it does, we'll be done. Of course. Of course, when I want to show someone uh, how something doesn't work, it works. But you can see if you can, I don't know if you can get a close up of that. Right there, you can see it actually stripped it pretty good already. It did drive all the way in, but, um, but it didn't work, so we're good. So I'm going to show you, can you see this? So now for this, for this mount, we have um, we use the, the Samsung um, bolts here at the top and the bottom to secure to the stud, which is holding the majority of the weight of this mount. And then on the sides, we have two toggle bolts so it can't tip or it can't pull off the wall. So now the next part would be hanging the TV, except that we have the one connect box for this TV. And since it's a frame TV and there's nowhere to put that box, we actually are gonna make a hole in the wall and we're gonna run that cord down and out at the bottom so that they can have the one connect box sit down there by their peripherals, like their DVD player and such. So I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple hole here and where to put it and then where we're gonna output it at the bottom. So uh, the one connect uh, connects at this spot right here. Um, we need to figure out a way to get this in the wall where this can still sit flat on the wall. Um, so what we do is we create a hole about the same size on the wall but where do you put it on the wall and how does it correspond? Let's do that real quick. Um, first, we're gonna figure the height from the bottom of the TV to this hole, to the center of it. And that's actually pretty easy because you can just lift up on the bottom here and mark, uh, and there's lines that go across to show you. So we're gonna follow that line across and it corresponds with about six and a half. So let's call it six and a half inches up from the bottom of the TV. And to measure from left to right in order to get this in the right spot. I actually flip the tape measure upside down and I measure the different spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab onto the bottom, uh, to the side here, and I'll show you what we do. So this TV is 48 and a half inches long. Um, from this side, we want to make our mark at 19 inches is the center. And the center of the TV is like 28 and a half, or sorry, 24 and a half. You can see right there, it says 24, not 28. 24 and a half to center, and our mark is at 19. So if we go up six and a half inches and over 19, and to the center is 24 and a half, that's really all you need to know for the measurements. And now let's go and see how it corresponds on the wall. All right, so now I'm gonna flip the tape measure right side up, and I'm gonna show you how that works. So our TV, first of all, is 28 inches. So we had 28 inches. The mount connected at 21 and a quarter, all right? And down here, we had at six and a half inches was where our mark was. So we're gonna make six and a half inches. And that was where our vertical mount was from the bottom of the TV up six and a half inches is where our mark needed to be in order to be at the right height, okay? Now, we're gonna flip the tape measure the correct way and we're gonna have our center be at 24 and a half inches, like we said. So we have the edge, we have 24 and a half to center, and at 19, where this mark connects is where we want our line. We want the line marked right there. So there's our 19 inches from the left side, and then we have seven or six and a half inches from the top. So this is exactly where that cord will be connecting into the TV. So we've made that mark, and that mark right there is where we need to cut out the hole, and the cord will come out of the wall and connect into our TV. And that's pretty much it.
So as we said, we were trying to make a hole right here um, for where this TV was gonna sit. The perfect spot would be for the hole to be right there. However, there was the beams and the studs here and there's also a fire block going this way. So for us, it wasn't gonna work. We even tried to move a little left, but that fire block is right below it. So I just wanted to show you how you can have some issues and still be okay. So for us, the hole is right here, which is still gonna be up into the TV. And the cord from this one connect cord goes along and down like this. So it connects in this spot, but having the hole right here is perfect because the cord can go along the TV drop and then go into the wall right there. And just so you can see, we're gonna fix this hole here and we're gonna erase this, but that actually works out fine. And though it was not exactly as expected, it's still gonna work perfectly for us. So hopefully something like that can work for you or maybe even you know, be a little easier for you guys. So just like any install or any concealing of wires, we need a, a box down here to have the cord come out. So we're gonna just square it up by putting the box at a similar height as this one. You can measure if needed, but I've done this a couple times. So we're gonna go ahead and just mark the top and the bottom with the knife, make a little mark on the inside of one side, make a little mark on the outside. I have my perimeter of the box and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this box out. So we have the bag of goodies. We need to get out the one connect cord here. So we have the bigger end and the smaller end. The bigger end is kind of hard to fit in through the TV to bring it up. So what we'll do is we'll take the smaller end that goes to the one connect box and we'll send it down the wall. And the way to do that is to fish tape up from the bottom up. So I'm gonna fish tape the wire and it's gonna pop out of this hole and we're gonna tape this end in and we're gonna feed it down the wall. So I'll show you how to do that now. So we're gonna take the fish tape and we're gonna feed it up the hole here. Here, if this is, I wanna just get a nice clean take of this on. There we go, it's coming out. There you go, pretty easy. So I'm gonna connect this here to the fish tape uh, with some duct tape and I'm gonna pull it down the wall now. There we go, and then we can take off this tape. And we have successfully gotten the one connect wire inside the wall. You can pull the excess down to the bottom because you don't need a lot of it at the top. Again, be careful not to, to kink it too much. Um, you know, if it, if it bends a little, it's not a big deal. It's more that it, if it has a sharp turn, just make sure you're careful with the cord. And again, as we said before, we need enough to plug this in right here. And this can go in the wall and we're gonna fix this piece of drywall. And so now we're gonna hang the TV and we'll be good. So I'm actually gonna fix the hole that I made in the wall here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now that we have this plate on the wall, we actually have to level this piece here. Um, this piece uh, moves independently of the wall plate itself. And this needs to be level so that your TV's level. So you can set a level right on top of that and see that it's, it's going downhill there. So for this, I've tried to use a little 10 millimeter um, socket to put over here and just crank it, but it doesn't fit. So Samsung needs to do something about that because in this plastic groove, there's not enough room for the actual um, ratchet. So what I've used is a needle nose pliers to just loosen these up a little bit. And once you've loosened them up a little bit, then you can make manipulate it. Okay, so we want to manipulate that until it's level. So we're going to sit here and turn it. And once we have it level like this, then we're gonna go ahead and tighten them back up. Just grab a hold of these with the pliers, or if you can get a socket ratchet in there, good for you, get it done. But it doesn't really work. I've tried it a bunch, so 
And you know those pliers works quite well. We just need to get these pretty tight so that it doesn't move. Now it's level and now we can hang the TV. Okay, so now we're gonna connect this TV. So we gotta connect the one connect cord first, which goes right into this spot there. Now it's connected and now we're gonna hang it up. There we go, connected. Push it flat. Woo. So now we're gonna connect the one connect box with the power cord. So I'm gonna take this out real quick. So we have this box here in the plastic. It's a nice heavy one connect box that has all the HDMI ports on the back. Uh, it has a power cord there and it has a connection for an antenna and then the one connect cord which we're going to connect. Remember that the HDMI ARC, the ARC, the audio return channel is the one that you want to plug your sound bar or speakers into. Just remember that if you have speakers or sound bar it has to be in this HDMI ARC, ARC. That's what will take the sound out of this box into a sound bar uh, and should have on the side it has some USBs as well. So, and also has a digital optical, but the uh, HDMI arc is better, it controls the sound, you'll be able to use the volume up and down from the, the Samsung remote to turn your sound bar up and down. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So we have the one connect here, we're gonna connect the power, and then we're gonna connect the one connect here. And when you do that, the TV's gonna pop on, so don't hang around down here too long or you're not gonna see the TV come on. So let's go ahead and pop the power cord in. And I'm gonna connect the one connector. It has a U shape, so it's only gonna connect one way. There we go. All right, we're almost finished. We're just gonna put the batteries in the remote and we'll be done. pretty good on the wall it looks like art on the wall so I hope you guys have liked this installation give us a comment down below and, and let us know what you think if there's any other things that you guys have tried uh, and if you tried that cord inside the wall um, let us know and give us a thumbs up for sure and, and subscribe to get more videos like this and just remember if you watch these videos and follow my directions you can be the installer